In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Payment Gateway Stripe to sell an ebook on your own WordPress website. Hi, I'm Matt from Active Growth, and when it comes to selling a simple digital product on your WordPress website, like an ebook, it can be really easy to go overboard with expensive membership plugins or digital delivery services that really are unnecessary just to sell an ebook. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in a simple way with a cost effective solution, which is the Stripe payment gateway. Let's get started. So here we are on the Stripe homepage. And if you haven't done so already, you can easily create a, an account by clicking on this button. Uh, you just enter a few personal details and your free account is ready to go. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to click on over to the Stripe dashboard. Once logged in, it's important to note that you still have to activate your account in order to take live payments. And what that means is you'll have to apply for a live account by entering more information about what your product is you'll be selling, your business account details, personal info, and some bank details. But once you enter all that and submit it, your account is activated instantly. Another cool feature of Stripe is that it actually offers a test environment so you can test buttons and payment forms before you actually make it live and that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So if we click on this payment link we actually come to a knowledge base article and in that knowledge base article if we come down to the checkout feature it gives us this HTML code that what we want to do is copy it and paste it on our sales page where we want our buy button to go, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So I've already created a Stripe sales page using a Thrive Architect template. And just, just to show you how this works. So if I scroll down to the first buy button area, what I'm going to do is delete the native button design and come here and grab a custom HTML element and replace the buy button with that. Then I'd simply paste the HTML code and don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. So the first element is this form action element and basically this backslash your server side code is the red redirect link you wanna send successful paying customers to. So essentially this will be the URL you send um, customers to uh, to show them a thank you page and I would recommend the digital download link so they have instant access to your ebook. So here is my purchase confirmation page. Again, it's just a Thrive template I grabbed to show you this. So let's say thank you. Uh, you can download your, your product below um, and then a, a, a download button. So essentially, I'm just going to grab the extension of this link, which is backslash purchase confirmation. And I'm going to go insert it in the URL. You can set this up however you want. And essentially, once the payment form goes through, then this is the link that customers will be taken to. Okay, the next is this data key, and this is the the Stripe test key that basically pings Stripe to let people, to let them know that a successful purchase should be tagged to your account. This is my test key, but uh, when your account is authorized, you'll actually get a live key, and you'll wanna use that instead for actual payments. So just make sure that key is correct. Next we have the data amount and this is in number of cents how much you're charging for your product. So 999 equates to $9.99. If we want to say charge $27.99 for our ebook then we would change this to 2,799. Next, in data name, we're going to re get just basically on the payment form, we want to have something congruent with our actual site. So I'll say that my site is Acro Yoga Mat, and I'm selling an Acro Yoga product. 
So, and then in the data description, this could be say the, the name of your ebook. So uh, the ebook I'm selling is Acro Yoga Fundamentals ebook. And finally, in this data image, this could be um, a URL to your company logo or your product logo. So I just have a image loaded up in my media library. I'm gonna grab it and then drop it in here. And so on the payment on the Stripe payment form, this will be the logo that shows. I'm then gonna save it, save the form. And when I preview those changes, now the Stripe payment button comes up. And when I click on it, our, our modified Stripe payment form comes up. So you see my Acre Yoga mat is there, Acre Yoga Fundamentals ebook is there, and then, and, and as well as my, my custom logo is inserted on the Stripe payment form, and with that custom amount as well. Now, this is just a test payment form, so we can enter whatever email we want, and Stripe's test card number, which is just a bunch of four twos in succession. And so we can test to make sure the form is working. And indeed, it worked. And let's see if we go to our thank you page. We did. And now, if you have your button hooked up to be to download the ebook, you can do that. So that's probably, that's the simplest way to get Stripe set up on your own WordPress website. One other feature I'd like to mention when it comes to Stripe is that you can use a free plugin, it's actually a freemium plugin, called WordPress Simple Pay. And there's a light version which is free and then there's a subscription version which you have to pay an annual fee for. But when it comes to selling an ebook, the light version is fine. You don't need to pay for this product to get what you need out of it. So I've created this test form and basically it just simplifies the whole thing for you and then gives you a short code to use instead of monkeying around with the HTML. So say we want to create that form. I can say my, my product is $27.99. I want to redirect to my payment confirmation URL. So we'll just come here and grab that URL, insert it. We'll go to the on-page form so we can have whatever we want in the button text. How about buy ebook will be our custom, buy ebook now. And then you can even have this please wait button processing text or whatever you want. And then in the checkout display, we'll say Acro Yoga Mat, Acro Yoga Fundamentals ebook, and then our logo image I already have loaded up. And then a cool feature here is that you can add a shipping address, billing address, um, verify zip postal code on the payment form if you want, or even enable Bitcoin. So that's super useful and this plugin, this WordPress plugin makes it super easy to do. So once we have all that, we can um, update the form to save our changes, copy that short code, and then go back over to our custom HTML element. And instead of the HTML, we can just post the short code and then maybe we even want to modify the positioning, make it look a little bit nicer. We'll save those changes. We'll preview the new form. And as you can see, this actually shows that we're in test mode, we'd have to, to take this test mode off, we'd have to tell the plugin. We're in the live mode, and let me just show you real quick how that works. If we go into Simple Paylight settings, 
this is where you would take the test seek there's a publishable key a secret key and a live publishable and secret key and you would just once your account's authorized you would place those and then you can talk you can enable or disable test mode here but if we go back to the test form and you can see that now our form has has been modified even more so that we can enter email You can see the button goes to please wait here. And then we go to our download page. Between the HTML code and, or using the WordPress Simple Pay Lite plugin, this is the easiest way to get a Stripe payment form set up to sell your ebook on your WordPress website. I hope you found this tutorial on how to use the Stripe payment gateway to sell your ebook on your WordPress website useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks very much for watching this video.